will, turn to hymn number 129. Those of you joining us from home, it's Rock of Ages. We're going to sing all three verses. that we have here. Um, God blessed us with uh, new chairs, and these are uh, these are first class uh, chairs. And uh, if, if you could look, you would see the changes. And so uh, we praise the Lord for that. All right. Any other praises? Yes, sir. For a good first week of work. Good first week at work on a new job. Yeah. And we're thankful that he had a good day at work because uh, you know Zephyr Hill's moving up because we finally got a Chick fil A. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's God's chicken. <laughs> and so Tommy helps bring those meals to life. So, all right, other praises. Well, I praise the Lord for a good week, being able to get things done. Um, again, this is our second Sunday with a new uh, air conditioning. Unless you've been around this end of the building, you wouldn't see, but we have a nice cage around the air conditioners. So if somebody's wanting to steal them, that's just another thing to slow them down. You know, there's no way we can make them 100% proof, uh, but we praise the Lord for getting that up. Uh, all right, any other praises? All right, we'll move on. Uh, unspoken prayer requests. All right, most everyone. Uh, we got some specific prayer requests. Uh, please continue to pray for Brother Tommy's great grandmother, uh, then put on hospice, and his grandfather uh, had to have a procedure dealing with the heart, so be praying uh, for. Both of them, the Lord's will be done. Continue to pray for Sister Garlene. Uh, she had a procedure uh, a week or so ago. Uh, so just pray that she gets relief uh, from that. And also for her great-granddaughter, Lorelai Grace, uh, newborn, just pray that things improve there. And then for Brother Nathaniel's nephew, did you get any updates on him? No? Okay. Just to, uh, continue to pray for his physical well-being. All right. Any others? I've got more, but I'm going to take a break. Yes, ma'am. Our um, granddaughter has um, COVID and pneumonia, and she's in the hospital with Leslie Chapel. Okay. She's only um, 28 years old. Okay. But she's 28 she, years old. It's really hit her hard, and I guess okay. there's enough surgery. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, 
carry on that one. Uh, my coworker, uh, his name is G. Uh, his wife had a surgery. Uh, I don't know what kind of surgery it was, but she had a surgery. And shortly after, she tested positive for COVID. And then G tested positive for COVID, and one of his sons tested positive. So um, he was supposed to, and it was hit, and it hit, hit, on, hit him hard. So it was really rough. Um, uh, he, he was telling me a couple days because he was supposed to take care of her because she was bed rest. Right. So since he got it and it really affected him, it was kind of hard for him to take care of her and him. Um, so just, uh, you know, just pray that. Okay. All right. Anybody else? Okay, while you're thinking, uh, please continue to pray for uh, not just Tommy starting a new job, but other folks starting new jobs. Uh, the financial needs of the church, as well as the financial needs of the church families. Yes. And then uh, continue to pray for Sister June, uh, Sister Francine, uh, and uh, Brother Stephen, all three with uh, different medical needs. And also, um, please be praying for Leslie Kennedy. Uh, she has COVID and she has a seven-year-old son. Uh, so just be praying that uh, she gets uh, healed from that completely and that uh, the Lord will keep her son uh, safe from it. Okay, any others? Yes, ma'am. Um, yes, for um, our friends that are expecting and then for those that um, just have their baby as they adjust to that. And then um, one of my um, friends that just had a baby um, had to go to the hospital um, because of pain, and it ends up that she has gallstones. Oh. And so oh we're trying to deal with that while recovering from having a baby. Okay. And then I know there are a couple uh, special unspoken. Uh, and for those of you participating online, uh, if you want to put your prayer requests uh, in the comments, our moderator will be your voice here. All right, any others? All right, if not, we're going to go to the Lord in prayer and turn it over to Brother Nathaniel. Our Heavenly Father, again, we thank you for your many blessings of the week, your watch care over us. Lord, you, you are so good to us that uh, in so many ways we can enumerate them. We are just so thankful. Uh, for who you are, not, ju not just for the things you've done for us, but simply because you loved us uh, when we had no desire to love you. Now we pray for these physical needs that have been mentioned. There are many uh, varying degrees. We ask that you would have your hand upon each and every one of them, that your will would be done, that we would conform to your will. And the other needs that are mentioned, the financial needs of the church and families and folks with new jobs, Lord, again, we just want to give you the glory in all of these situations, and we do want your will to be done. Now, as we come to the time of the Sunday school lesson, we ask that you'd have your hand upon Brother Nathaniel, that you'd use him, you'd help us to be attentive to the teaching of thy word, and we ask this in your precious and holy name, amen. Amen. chapter 15 Luke 15 and again looking at looking at uh prodigal son and uh, the uh, I guess the first point uh, that I had was that uh, talking about far country uh, it was not measured by distance uh, so the second point would be the far country has many roads 
Uh, and, you know, again, uh, let's, let's read verse, uh, verse 12. Again, Luke 15, verse 12. The Bible says, And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that fall to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days after the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country. And there he wasted his substance with riotous living. Uh, let me ask you this. Again, this is Sunday school, so participation is key. Encouraged. Uh, why uh, why do you think he went to a far country? Why? Yeah, Vanessa. Because everybody knew him at home. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And if he did anything, it would get back. Yeah. Because you know, he knew everybody, or everybody knew daddy, or mama, or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Vanessa, sweetie. He was tired of the town he was in. <laughs> yes. Adventure. Adventure, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anybody else? I don't think there really is a wrong answer, so, I mean, you could say you want to be a scuba diver. <laughs> I'd accept it, you know? <laughs> um, he wanted to see the world. Yeah. And. You know, I, um, and like I said, there there is no wrong answer. I just, you know, um, it's interesting how, you know, uh, there's there's quite a bit of us in here uh, on how we all can read the same verse and we all have different, you know, mindsets on on how we think it happened. You know, and and and. You know, here it is that uh, I know uh, with me, if I were to relate to the prodigal son in my life, uh, I would say that he left because into a far country because he wanted to get away from home. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to be home. And again, uh, y'all's answers aren't wrong. I'm just saying that if I were to relate in my life, that's how I would say, why I would say he left, because he didn't want to be home. And, and I think it was Vanessa, I think it was your first one, I'm trying to remember it, where people knew him. You know, uh, uh, people knew, if, if not him, at least people knew daddy. You know, and, and you know, I don't want, I don't want, and I feel like this is a problem with a lot of, this, this is, this is, a big problem with a lot of uh, young people is that, and, there, and there's nothing wrong with making a name for yourself, but there's right ways about going it, and then there's wrong ways about going it. And this boy went out the wrong way about doing it. And he says, I don't want nothing to do with my family. I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to, and, and I feel like, I feel like he had the same mentality. A lot of kids today have is I want what dad has and I but I don't want to get it how dad got it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, dad worked for that. Dad worked long and hard for what he has. And I feel like son said, you know what? I'm gonna make a name for myself. Uh I'm going to uh um you know I I have I have uh I have wealth in my name, even though he didn't do nothing for it. Uh, but you know what, Dad, give me what's mine, because I'm gonna be, I wanna be, essentially, I wanna be you, but not be you. I don't want your name, Vanessa. So, as not the firstborn child, maybe, <laughs> it was also part to the fact that, like, his brother was always gonna be the head of the family, you know, farm, ranch, right, right. you know, whatever, the state. And so he would always be under his brother. 
maybe, you know, though he went about it in the wrong way, in the wrong attitude, you know, maybe he wanted to be the head of something. Yeah. And that's why he went far away to be the head of something. Yeah. Has to. You know, as uh, the youngest born, <laughs> Um, oftentimes, my experience with five older siblings, I was living in their shadows. Yeah. And in school, if my teacher had one of my siblings, they prejudged me on how the kind of student I was going to be. And whether they thought I was going to be a great student or a horrible student, either way, you know, they weren't allowing me to be me. Right. And, you know, having left home at the age of 17, you know, I could appreciate, you know, what this younger brother, you know, again, when I think about why he left, I look at me and think of, right. you know, my motivations and where I was. Right. You know, yeah, and but I know. living in the shadow, uh, you know, living in one shadow is, is yeah. hard, but when you have multiple shadows, it, yeah. it's even harder. Yeah, I know, I know. Because uh, I played soccer growing up, and my brother, the oldest, uh, we lived in Winter Haven, so he went to Winter Haven High School to play soccer. Uh, and did great, you know, and then my sister, Two years later, went to Winter Haven to play soccer. She did great. And then my turn, and they're like, who are you? I said, I'm, I just said my last name. Like, oh, you're gonna be great. I'm like, and thankfully they made a good name for me because if they would have been, you know, my brother and sister would have been bad at soccer. They're like, uh, yeah, we don't want you on our team. But it, like Pastor said, it was like they already, and I wasn't bad, you know, I didn't disappoint them, I hope. But, uh, <laughs> You know, it was, it was, it was, you know, because now it's like, great, brother and sister, they did great, now they're expecting me to be great, and I don't want to let them down, <laughs> you know, I don't want to be the one, you know, because then I have another sister underneath them, I don't want her to be like, oh, oh, yeah, you're, you're his, you know, you're his brother, oh, um, but, uh, yeah, I, and, 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 you know, uh, it is, it is, um, as, as Vanessa was saying, you know, uh, I know as a middle child, I guess, and then not saying, is there an older, is there, is there an older child here? Is there somebody that's the oldest? The first born. Thank you. All right. We got it all covered. You have to tell us how your experience. <laughs> um, but you know to have that uh, and, and uh, to have the expectation of well your brother did it like this why don't you do it like this mm -hmm. you know it worked for him maybe it'll work for you you know and, and, and have that over you sometimes and it wasn't like that with everything but to have that with some things like sports you know my brother was great at sports still is great at sports you know why you know he, he did it like this why don't you try it like that well because i'm not hell you know i do these things a little different and to have that and and, and here it is that again we don't know what what came to his mind, you know, why he decided, you know what, I want to leave. It, it could have been, you know, because he got tired of living under a shadow. But regardless of whatever it was, uh, the main reason why he went was for self-pleasing. He went because he wanted to please self. Yeah. He said, Dad, give me what's mine. Now again, you're not you're not gonna read this, but this is how I take it. Dad, you give me what's mine, because I want to do what I want to do. I want to be the man that I'm gonna make myself to be. And, and here it is again that 
self uh, pleasing uh, it's not a cheap thing it it, right. it it costs and it's a it's a it's a heavy price and we can see a lot of uh, of things that it cost them right he said dad give me what's mine and he left well I'm by a raise of hands how many think his dad was happy that he left? He went, woohoo! Finally! One of my boys is finally gone. Now if I can just get the other one to leave. I don't see a single hand rise. It broke his heart. And here it is that that fellowship now between the youngest son and his dad. It's not broken because the young son wanted to do what he wanted to do. Yeah. What do you think about the brother? I know we talked about him last week. I believe, again, this is just, you know, again, you're not going to read it in the Bible, but I believe, as I, I think I said it last week, if not, I'm saying it this week, that maybe at first the older brother, at first tried to convince the younger brother to stay. Listen, don't go. The world that is promising you whatever you think is out there, it's not out there. Don't go. And, and, and trust me, you might have a fun time, but it, it's not going to be worth it. And maybe maybe he tried, and, and, and you know, because the Bible says it was a couple days. Maybe in those couple days that his bro older brother tried his best. To try to make, please don't go. And then he left. You know, again, that fellowship between him and his brother mm. is now broken. You know, and, and maybe, you know, again, uh, uh, because now older brother is now having to take all the responsibilities and having to do all these things and and just grow callous. And, and again, how many Christians, and, and, and we might have been in the same, sh uh, uh, same boat as the older brother, but how many times have we tried to help a fellow Christian, brother or sister, and we plead with them, we look, don't go down that road. That road, I mean, looking at the Bible, look what the Bible says about going down that road. It's going to harm you. And then they end up leaving. They end up doing it anyways. Not taking heed of your warning or the warning of God. And we grow callous towards them. I warned them, you know. And then, and then, it, and then kind of like how we said last week where the brother just kind of had the, you know what? Who cares? I try to warn them. I try to help them. They did their own thing. They want to live the life, whatever. I tried. So now, you know what? I'm dusting my shoes off. You know, and and and, and we're quick to uh, uh, we're quick to just leave them down. To just yeah, you know, and, and here it is that the fellowship between. Uh, his brother was gone. And ironically, freedom. His freedom was gone. And, it, and I say ironically because that's why, that's, I believe that's one of the reasons why he left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To get freedom. I'm getting out of here. You know, I, I know, I know I said it, I said it last week, you know, when I thought I was going to that boys camp, all boys camp, I thought that was freedom. I mean, it looked promising. <laughs> I was like, this is great. <laughs> and then come to find out, it wasn't great. You know, it's one of those where the cover was better than the book, you know, or, or the movie or whatever, you know. It wasn't that great. And here it is, this 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 boy, you know, he, he probably had a, a glimpse of what the real world might have offered, could have offered. And he thought, man, this is freedom. I'm going to go out into the real world and I'm going to live the way I want to live and I'm going to get out from dad's rules and I'm going to get out from, from you know, I don't, I don't think he worked at, the, uh, at least in the beginning. 
I'm going to get out from working. I'm going to live the life that I want to live. The way that, you know, I don't know if he had, I don't know if he had a, uh, a role model or somebody that he looked that he that he had a poster of or you know or somebody where he's like I want to be just like this person and now he finally has his his what he thinks is opportunity you know what I'm gonna live like so and so I'm gonna live the same life that they have and I'm gonna be free and he left and I imagine you know he was he was whistling and he was just, you know, had a smile on his face thinking life is just going, just going to go uphill for me for now. You know, it's just, it's just, it's great. I'm just going to stay on top of the mountain. And then we see later on, he ends up feeding pigs. Actually, not just feeding pigs, eating like a pig. Mm -hmm. That freedom that he thought that he was going to have quickly <laughs> was taken away. Self-pleasing is not it's not a cheap lifestyle, <laughs> okay? It a cost, yes, Pastor. It just goes to show us that we're free to make our decisions, but we're not free to choose the consequences. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, and, that, and that's a promise of God. And oh, okay. um, and you know, here it is again. It it it, it came down to him. You know, I I know I know uh, people get to a point where they don't care. Uh, I, I'm going to say this because I know there's there's times when we shouldn't care what people think, but they literally don't care in a general aspect of what people think about them. You know, they'll they'll. And I, I say as a, uh, you know, say one that nobody here, so, so it's not pointing at you. But let's just say somebody's like, you know what? I'm not going to take a shower. I'm going to take a shower once a month. I don't care what people think. I'm going to take a shower, right? So that type of mentality of not caring what people think, don't have that kind. I please <laughs> shower. Okay. Now, we shouldn't care what people think. Well, ooh. I don't want them to think that I'm just a Bible thumper. That, that let people think that. That's a good thing. Um, so when I say that there are those who don't care what people think, think about the shower one, okay, where it, it, it's just, you know, it's like, no, you should care what people think on that aspect. Um, and here it is that this this boy got to that point. I mean, I imagine at first, maybe, maybe for maybe for the first five minutes, you know, he still had that last minute pride of I don't want to I'm, I'm, I'm above eating with pigs I'm, I'm above working with pigs but I imagine his stomach was growling and he was just hungry and he said you know what I don't even care let my you know again uh, he went to that far country and, and, and what did that far country do to him he said hey guys I, I need help I need, I, I, nope, we're not helping you. There's pigs right there. You can eat with the pigs. That's what, that's what it, it initially cost him. You know, and I, again, I, I, humiliation. You know, and these things that, that's a, especially, I mean, a young person, I, 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 I was, who I, I think it was a comedian. I can't remember who it was, but he he said to he had teenagers. He's like teenagers. I don't I don't ground them. I don't I don't punish them in any way or, or he punished them. But he's like I don't ground them. I don't take away their things. He's like best way to punish a teenager is embarrassment. Kids hate embarrassments. Now I'm not gonna you know follow that example. I will punish my kids, um, but. That's true. Teenagers do not, or I say teenagers, just kids in general. I mean, even now, I guess, I still don't like to be embarrassed, okay? I remember my dad, when he would play basketball, he was he was stuck in, like, the 1960s. Um, because now, if you watch basketball players, their shorts at least touch their knees. At least. 
Back in those days, the shorts did not touch the knees. No. The socks touched the knees, <laughs> but not the shorts. And my dad was stuck in that time period. And I remember playing basketball with him. I was like, oh, you're not my dad. <laughs> I don't even want to play with you anymore. I'm, I'm done. You know, and, and it was it was embarrassing. You know, it's like, and, and I remember the first day. I mean, it was like us kids had a, a kids meeting. <laughs> we got to get dad. <laughs> Stop wearing those clothes. And we did. I remember we all sat with us. Dad, we need to talk. We sat at the table. Dad, we need to talk. When we're playing sports, you got to wear ankle socks and shorts that touch your knees. And he fought with us a little bit. He goes, but this is so cool. No. Ankle socks and shorts that touch your knees. <laughs> and he did. It took him a little bit, but he tranced, you know, and he got rid of all those, thank the Lord. Um, but just as a kid, you know, it was embarrassing. You know, it was, it was, uh, you know, you're not my dad right now. You know, when we go home, you're my dad. But right now, you're just some weirdo playing basketball with us. Okay? But here it is again. This, this, this young boy, he didn't get that, you know, well, this is embarrassing. What will my friends think? He didn't care. I'm hungry. I'm desperate. I'm eating. And again, I mean, looking at it, I, I imagine, I imagine people that were his friends saw him eating with pigs. And I imagine they probably made fun of him. Yeah. Huh. When he first got here, man, he was rolling high in the money. You know, he was he he thought he was gonna live like so and so. Look at him eating with pigs. Such a disgrace. Pig boy. Yeah, pig boy. Yeah. Yeah. Porky. Hey. <laughs> you know, and, and and again, I just I, I mean, this this boy, you know, again, he, he thought he thought he knew the secrets of life, I guess. I, I mean, he, and, and 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 I know We've all, uh, we've all been in this same shoe, in his shoe before. Uh, if you're, not, if you have it, you're going to, okay? <laughs> because we get to that point, and 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 where we think we know how to handle life, and as Christians, that can be very dangerous. And Satan loves Christians with that mentality. Hey, I can do things on my own, and you know. Typically, I would say mostly, whenever we get that mindset is, is typically after we just got done with a victory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As soon as the Lord gave us a victory, we say, you know what? <sighs> Look what I did. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing happens and we say, God, I'll give you a break this time. Go ahead and sit down, get you ice water. I got it this time. Mm -hmm. And Satan just loves that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he says, "Great, you know, here comes, here comes Nathaniel. You know what? And, and, and I, if 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 I were Satan, this is what I would do. And I, and I know he does it because he knows me. <laughs> okay, is you know what, Nathaniel? Man, oh yeah, you can get me, man. Oh yeah, big powerful Nathaniel. I, I can't handle you." And he's going to build me up. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Look how Satan, he's puny. Yeah. I'm like Goliath, and, I, and he's like David. You know, he's just a small little thing, and I'm just massive. But David always wins, okay? And that's when I say, God, just, just, just stand back. No, I, I can handle this one. Matter, it's kind of similar to the one we just got done, so I kind of learned a little bit, and I know how to handle this. And the next thing you know, Satan buffs up and said, "Whoa, they're not a you know there, there's a there's a in the animal kingdom there's a frog, little frog. I mean not not tiny, but a little frog. And when a predator comes and wants to eat the frog, 
the frog can grow. He, he'll, he'll suck in a lot of air. And he can get three times the size of what he was. He just... And he, very slowly, he makes like this very deep grunt. Just... And, you know, if you're a, you know, something that eats frogs or birds, for instance, and this creature that you thought you had a handle on, and then all of a sudden he just... And now he's making a very scary sound. I might not want to mess with that frog. Yeah, you know, and, and I imagine that some that, that that's how Satan works. Sometimes he he he'll seem small. I can handle him. Next thing you know, he blows up. It's I can't handle him no more. And here it is. I believe that this this boy he thought he could handle life. He thought that he had life in the palm of his hand, and said, "Ah, I can control it." And, I, and, and I've heard it in songs. I've heard actually people say it, and it's a it's a. It's a dangerous mindset. You know, they'll say, I'm the master of my own sea. I'm the captain of that ship. Uh, the problem is, is, is uh, there's only one that controls the sea. Amen. And that's God. You know, uh, you had Peter, John, James, don't know if there were any other fishermen at the moment, but yeah, those three at least. Andrew, Andrew, yeah, that Peter's brother. Andrew, <laughs> professional fisherman. Been on the boats, I, I would I would say to say, all their life. I would say it was probably a family business. Yeah. If anyone would be, you know, if anyone would I, where I would say had, would be a mindset of controlling the ocean. It would be fishermen. They're out on the water all the time. But when the waves and wind, wind blew, the Bible said that they were so afraid. They were terrified. Even on the death, they were scared to death. So people like them, who are on the waters all the time, who, who knows, you know, knew they were scared. I, I'm a fisherman, but that's not, you know, I, I, I'm a, I like to stay on, on, on dry land. You know, I like to get on the boat sometimes, but not on the ocean. <laughs> not on the ocean. I'm not an ocean fish. I tried it once. I'm good. I like, I like fresh water. Um, but here it is, this boy, you know, he, he, he went and, again, he riotous living. He, he wasted his substance, blew it all. And again, he thought maybe those friends that he had said, hey, help me. No, we're not going to help you. We're not going to help you. We're not, you know, we're, we're not going to give you any aid because, put it bluntly, you're nobody. <laughs> you know, you're, you're really nobody. And again, you know, uh, um, as, as, a Christian, uh, it's it's easy, and 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 I don't like saying that. You know, I wish I wish it was hard, but getting to this point is easy. Getting getting to the point where we say, you know what, I want nothing to do with this anymore. I want out. I want to go. I want to leave, and 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 we go to to a far country, and 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 and. One of the good things, as I said before, uh, is that you know we all have different mindsets. We all have, we all, not one person on earth. It's crazy to me that we have. Uh, there's like billions of people on the earth, and not one of them's the same. You know, God bless us with twins. They look alike. They talk alike. They can even sometimes act alike. But you know what? They're not the same. And. With that being said, when we go to a far country, there's many roads. There's not just, oh, if you only do this, that will only get you to a far country. There's only one way to go out of, get out of God's will. No, there's a lot of ways. Yeah. You know, there's that saying, all roads lead to, all roads lead to Rome. 
Well, there's many roads that lead to, to outside of God's will. And, and you know, I, I wish um, for humanity's sake, but it's not the case, that it would be hard, that it would be undesirable. But these roads are so easy to take. Mm-hmm. You know, and, 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 and it's like, you know, again, it's like Satan just says, you know what? That road hasn't been used a while. Let's pave it down and make it really easy. Let's make it smooth. You know, and, and, and it's easy. And we get to this point like the younger son to where we say, you know what? I don't want nothing to do with God. I don't want nothing to do with Christianity. I don't want nothing to do with, with anything. I just, I want to live the life I want to live. And we get to that point and as we read the younger son, we see where that self-pleasing leads. And it's not a Let's, and and, and I'll, I'll end with this. Most of the time, we self-please. At some point in time, uh, it'll catch up to us. But let's just say, let's just say for, for somebody's, you know, somebody out there that may say, well, I'm living the way I want to live. I'm a Christian and, and you know, uh, uh, God has done some things, but you know, I'm just going to keep doing it. And, and, and for some, you know, let's just say for scenario, nothing bad ever happens to them here on earth. Well, I can name you something worse than something bad happening here on earth. As a Christian, it is either dying and going to heaven or the rapture coming and going to heaven and seeing a very disappointed face on God. Mm. And him just look at you and just, and he don't even have to say anything, but you just know. That the life you live was a very disappointing life. But not having anything to offer God. You know, I, I would much rather say, God, bring me back on earth. Punish me so I can get right. You know, I don't want. I don't, that life is meaningless now. You know, again, it's easy. And I just, you know, and next week we're going to look at the older brother again. Uh, but, uh, you know, I just, I just pray that. We don't get uh, to the younger brother, uh, uh, and, well, the older brother's mentality too, but the younger brother where we just outwardly say, you know what, I'm out of here. And we're going to end with that, uh, so we're going to go ahead and pray and be dismissed. All right. Our Heavenly Father, thank you for this day again that we can come into your house and uh, just uh, worship with each other, Lord. And, Again, I just pray for uh, uh, the prayer request that were, was mentioned. Uh, just meet the needs there according to your will. And again, Lord, just uh, uh, apply the message to our lives that uh, as we looked at the younger brothers this morning, that uh, we can just, uh, I pray that we'll be careful uh, with, with, with how we uh, act. And Lord, just come to you and, and just live the life that uh, is pleasing unto you. And again, Lord, just. Bless the remaining of the service. May we honor glorify you. In Jesus' name, amen.